guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be reviewing some of the Rouge Pour Couture the matte lipsticks I have four of them right here to do a little review on and that's why I'm not wearing any lipstick because I plan to try them all on and show you guys what I think about them now these products were given to me for free but everything is my own opinion of the products you guys so let's go ahead and start so I'm gonna give you guys a brief description about the products formulated with a velvet complex a combination of spherical powders and silk oil rouge pour couture the mattes give the lips a perfect matte finish a sensuous sheen and six hour color hole that never fades or never smudges so let's go ahead and show you guys what the packaging looks like so when I got them, they came in this beautiful YSL beauty packaging. So the box looks like this. It's a beautiful gold box. And the actual lipsticks looks like this. These are the actual lipsticks. Packaging is so pretty. It's like this gold reflective um, plastic type of packaging. So I got the 201 Orange Imagine zip. And this is the actual lipstick. Now, this is the Orange Imagine. It's like a bright red, not too orangey. And the application says, apply lipstick from the center of the lips and work towards the corner of the mouth. And this is it just straight out of the tube. No lip liner or anything like that. So this is it. So the next one that I'm going to be trying out is this one and it's going to be the 216 Red Clash. This is the 216 Red Clash. Very beautiful red. Alright, let's go ahead and try this on the lips. Right, so this is Red Clash on my lips right now. I really like this red color. It's very pretty. It's kind of like a candy apple red. I really like it. The application on these lipsticks are super smooth, so they just glide right on your lips. So I really like that. And they do leave you some sheen, so they won't completely dry up. Because sometimes you don't want like your lips super dry. So I really like that and it looks nice and it's just like a little shine it's not even too much it's like perfect shine so on to the next one we have 217 nude trouble and this is just a beautiful nude shade you guys very pretty this can go with pretty much anything this is just a nice color little berry color it's very pretty let's try it on And this is the New Trouble, which has to be like one of my favorite colors so far because it is so pretty. It's just a nice neutral color. Yeah, I love it. It's just, it can go with pretty much anything. So I really like this color. by far one of my favorite shades so far i really like it i didn't know if i was gonna like this one that much but i really like it it says new trouble but it does give you a lot of color and it gives you, gives you a great color payoff i really love this one beautiful that is the most gorgeous shade ever i'm really digging this color this is so pretty i like the reds too but I'm kind of not so much a red girl, but this one is like very pretty. Alright guys, so now for the last color and it's going to be the number 205 and it's called Prune Virgin. So that is it and it's a nice deep dark raisin color. Very pretty, especially for fall. Now this is the one that I really wanted, you guys. But now I'm leaning more, I'm leaning more to the new trouble because it was just so pretty. 
let's go ahead and apply and one thing that I will say about these lip color my lips are naturally dark they've always been like that so for this lipstick to actually cover my dark lips without using like a lip liner that does say a lot this is a prune virgin What I love about this is that it is very hydrating to be a matte lipstick. It's really hydrating. My lips are naturally like super dry, like really dry and cracky, so I have to keep them moisturized. And usually when I use a matte lipstick, that dries my lips out even more. But I did like the fact that these did not dry out my lips. My lips feel moisturized they actually feel like they have lip balm on them and the color payoff is off the chain this has been my review of the YSL Beauty Rouge Pour Couture the matte lipsticks and let me know in the comment section like what's you guys' favorite like right now I'm really feeling this prune virgin I love a dark lipstick especially for fall but I just love dark lipsticks my other favorite was the nude trouble and I did like the reds too but those two out of all four of these those two were my absolute favorites you guys I'll talk to you in the next video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe peace